couple of needles Yesterday's- and protect everybody. It's kind of fucked up now, you know. We watched the neighborhood turn to shit, and I I grew up around there, so we're we're all pissed, you know. Let's see, let's see what's bad. going on in Toronto, man. Yesterday's attack of an elderly woman here on Young Street is just the latest in violent <laughs> incidents that have happened throughout the city, and it's been enough to incite fear among residents and those visiting our city as well. We definitely noticed quite an escalation in violence. Like it's pretty scary. We, we, we definitely not as tight as this bitch. Is, she begged for it. You <laughs> white women have begged for this shit. Oh, for I'm, sure. This is a liberal city, bro. Very liberal. We definitely not as tight as escalation in violence. <laughs> and, she's, and she's probably so scared to even say who's doing it. It's probably... Is, it Ontario, be- worse, is Ontario worse than Toronto? Ontario is this is like the state. It's the province. It's like on and Toronto's the city in the in the province like of Ontario. The capital. Yeah, that's the capital, yeah. It could be a hundred percent sun man violence here, and this woman would wouldn't tell you. She's a fucking this woman, this is what fishermen be talking about. These white women. This is the this this is the person behind that shit. Um salute to um Trite Knight. He says diversity is our greatest strength. We definitely noticed quite an escalation in violence. Like it's pretty scary riding the TTC. Um, even having my headphones in, it's just I don't know. It's kind of like risk now that you have to consider. In addition, she can't even wear her fucking head. Look at that look. look at, when she's talking about it, she's 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 seeing it in her mind, and that's she pictured the Sun Man act. She pictured. <laughs> And you're absolutely right. Uh, this is her fault. This is what they begged for. And when you're a white woman in a white country like Tor- like Canada or United States, this is Toronto, we hear all this shit about the most protected woman on the planet. Uh, if a white woman, you breaks her fingernail, the fucking cavalry, green berets, the fucking parachute in and hang whoever did it. It's not fucking true. These white women have fucking made their own bed. They're not safe anymore. There's no safety for white women. They're just like a fucking straight cat or a seagull. Got more fucking um, safety than a fucking... We definitely woman. noticed quite an escalation in violence. Like, it's pretty scary riding the TTC. Um, even having my headphones in, it's just... I don't know. It's kind of like risk now that you have to consider. In addition to an 89-year-old woman being pushed and killed on Young Street... Lot. Who did? Who killed the eighty-nine year? Who pushed and killed the eighty-nine year old woman? No, I don't remember. I forget. Chat. Who killed the eighty-nine year old woman? Who, who y'all think killed the eighty-nine year old woman? Chat. Well, I think we know, but who pushed and killed? The- <laughs> In addition to an eighty-nine year old woman being pushed and killed on Young Street. Last night, a woman in her 20s was suffering from stab wounds to her abdomen after being found at Dundas subway station. Police were told the incident happened at York University before she made her way downtown. A man in his 50s was arrested Friday afternoon after trying to push another person onto the subway tracks at Bloor Young Station. To be honest with you, this... Yeah, they never show who's doing anything here. Never. <laughs> Never, bro. They don't show. They will not show you. <laughs> oh my god, that man. lady, bro. That lady can't even say the word black. You know, she yeah. even just the word, dude. Even if well, she, no, you got black. word police up there. Yeah, well, you can literally be thrown in jail. It's fucked for sure. It's fucked. I even spoke out. One time recently, I said to some lady on the train, I said, like an act line, I said, um, you know, back in Africa, bro, you only have this train because we made it, you know, show us some respect in here. And the train went fucking crazy on me, you know, they went crazy. They tried to remove me from the train. Wow. Wow. Bro, she almost hit the emergency stop button to get police involved, you know, and that's like a charge here. Right. Yo, I'm pushing it. 50s was arrested pushing it. Wow. Friday afternoon after trying to push another person onto the subway tracks at Bloor Young Station. To be honest with you, this part of the city, uh, I'm usually afraid. 
to come to this part of the city, uh, so I don't come that often. The list of violent events over the last couple of months grows longer. In early December, a 31-year-old woman was fatally stabbed at High Park subway station in an unprovoked attack. That was a tiger. I think that was a tiger who did that one. Unprovoked attack. Unprovoked attack. Less than a week later, eight teenage girls allegedly swarmed and killed 59-year-old Ken Lee. There the you go. That was a big one. University. That was big. Who so are the those, girls? Those girls were like 14, 15, hanging out. Like, they're all from different hoods and linked up downtown to just mob on like a Friday night. I think... I think they tried to steal this man's bottle of liquor. He didn't want them to, and then they just fucked them up, you know? Were they, what, what kind of girls were they? I think it's like a bunch of, a bunch of sun, sun teens and maybe a couple like uh, glider teens mixed in with them, you know? But it's rare, bro. It's rare, it's rare for 14-year-old girls around here to, to get catch murder charges like, like that, you know? Yeah now facing charges of second-degree murder. Since then, multiple people have been attacked at a variety of TTC stops, including what police say was a hate-motivated assault at Bloor Young Station earlier this week. We need more, much more, and that involves fundamental changes to the resources that are allocated to mental health, to the attention that is being... The resources that are allocated to mental health. God. <laughs> Yo, this guy just caught, to it, caught cheating on his wife. He just yeah. got caught cheating on his wife. He just got he just stepped down last week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, it does none of that shit matter. It wouldn't matter if he was the greatest person in the world. It wouldn't matter if he was fucking an IQ of seven thousand. There's no solutions. Availability of treatment and supports for people suffering from mental health issues, and that's just a fact. It is part of a health care issue, uh, and that is uh, the principal responsibility working in partnership with us of the provincial government. Mayor John Tory suggests the incidents are in fact random and could be as a result of something post-pandemic, so should be carefully studied to try and determine why they may be happening. Coming from a, a different place and hearing that news before when I arrived, because I read a lot before coming here, I was like, how are we going to do it? Being together, three of us, I, I feel safe, but if I'm alone, I don't know if they I need the fucking feel that way also. Police in With the subway, evidence. You know? They need Sunman police in the subway to handle this shit because no one wants to say nothing to them. But they're like, you know, they need to move. They need to remove them because they just smash on fools for fun. But no one's no one's bro. Check this out. I, they put more cops in the stations recently. The first day they added cops. And that violence in schools is on the rise as well. You Did you hear that? Listen, listen very closely. Listen, chat. Wait, also. With evidence that violence in schools is on the rise as well, unions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Diversity is our strength, man. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable how dumb gliders are, man. Y'all are so stupid. It's unbelievable. Believable. Well, some people have a giant tank of white guilt that just never seems to run dry. <laughs> wow. God. Dog. Oh. I don't know if I can feel that, that way also. Time? With evidence that violence in schools is <laughs> on the rise as well, unions representing both teachers and education workers have called on the province to provide better mental health support and training for staff. The TDSB, for its part, is saying that it will be providing programs to help enhance safety in high schools. Mark McAllister, City News. Enhance safety in high schools. Now they're kids. So they, they've let their kids down. Think about if you're a fucking Canadian kid, glider kid. You, you fucking people have let you down. That's your parents' fault. You can't walk the streets. They're considered Canada's most wanted. And tonight, there's renewed effort to put them behind bars. The names and images of 25 fugitives have been released. Nearly half of them suspected of violent crimes in Toronto. As CTV's Mike Walker reports, investigators are offering big rewards to help catch them. 
They are the 25 most wanted fugitives in Canada. Topping the list is 32-year-old Abul Aziz Mohammed, wanted for the first-degree murder of 43-year-old Craig McDonald last year. We have <laughs> This guy, man, like fucking Pete, and you know he was with all this shit. You know he begged for this shit. You know he, you know anybody who fucking spoke out against this shit, who was trying to say, "Hey, wait a second, man, let's let's take a step back. What are we really doing here?" You know he fucking called them a racist and bullied them. That's what you get, Craig. First degree murder of forty-three-year-old Craig McDonald last year. We have continued to receive information that he's still within the GTA. Police say McDonald was shot in a Boston pizza parking lot near Morningside and Milner back on October 13th after an altercation inside the restaurant. Today, through the Be on the Lookout program, Toronto police announcing an unprecedented $250,000 reward for any information leading to Mohammed's arrest. In a statement, McDonald's sister writes, having him behind bars will not end our nightmare. Nothing will. But it will allow us to take our next step forward and hopefully ensure- I know when this glider was on the ground bleeding out. He he had to be like, oh my God, this can't be happening. No way. <laughs> I mean, what do you I what hope you, I didn't <laughs> stain that other guy's shoes? But what do you glad is think though? What do you glad is think though? Like I mean, seriously, no jokes. What do y'all think when you're getting, like, some of you here have been, like, clocked upside the head or been, you know, just, you know, attacked in public by a sudden man. What are you thinking? Like, oh, my God, this is a nightmare. Because you asked for this. This is what you asked for. Sure that another family will not be forced to walk this same path. It's important for us uh, to try to get some sense of closure uh, for the family. I think part of that is having Abilese Mohammed before the courts to answer to that charge. For the first time, the Bullo program is revealing the top 25 fugitives wanted by police agencies across the country, many with cash rewards. 12 suspects. Wow, that's a very... What's the what's the sun population in... um in, um in What's the sun population in, um, in, Canada. in Canada? Yeah. I know they've had a large influx in the last 40 years, uh, in the fishing industry especially. Yeah, because I, I would like to know. I'm sure it's, it can't be 13 like us. I'm sure it's not 13. No, it won't be. Somebody said 5%. Look well, at this. Canada doesn't have very many people. Yeah, they got 30 million. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, this most wanted list. You gotta mute yourself. Um, whoever's whoever's um, Mike, Mike, yeah, yeah, mute yourself. Charge for the first time, the Bullo program is revealing the top 25 fugitives wanted by police agencies across the country, many with cash rewards. 12 suspects are wanted by Toronto police. With the major rewards announced today, the loyalty of any friends and associates assisting you in evading arrest will be tested. But there have been hundreds of tips generated by our campaigns. Four, five, six hundred tips that have come in following you know, the launch of a campaign. The top ten are all wanted for murder, including Mohammed Hassan for the drive-by shooting death of Habil Hassan in Etobicoke last April, and Tommy Nago in connection with the stabbing death of Russell Sahadeo at Noble Park seven years ago. Investigators are not looking for evidence. They are not looking for a witness. They just need to know where these fugitives are located. Police believe Nago is associated with this man, Brian Granado, who was number three on the list, wanted for a 2015 murder in Calgary and believed to be in Toronto. We have information that uh, they're associated to each other and that they're being supported by the same criminal organization that has national ties. In the weeks ahead, pictures and details of the suspects will be posted on social media and on billboards across the city, hoping to give investigators the break they Damn, y'all asked for that shit. Golly, man. Y'all They're probably asked... living in Niagara and um, getting a check from Biden. Wow. Unbelievable, man. Y'all, you motherfuckers asked for this. That is That is terrifying, man. They didn't ask, they demanded. That glider's fucking 
dead, dead over some stupid shit. Like, it's probably the dumbest thing in the world that some man killed him for in that pizza shop. Um, let me get some water, man. Um, y'all hold it down for me, man. I'm gonna be back. And I noticed I can't even uh, pronounce the Asian names properly. That's probably no, not Gano. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Hmong people. My dad dealt with those guys in Vietnam. Well, I mean, it's not even hard because you've got Andy No. It's a very famous person. Right, he's a big and name. Everybody pronounces his name correctly. Lefty. You know, it's not like well, he's still a lefty, work. but the lefties are mad at him now, I think. So, uh, what do you think about my way to stop those kids from school shootings? I think that's a solid answer, or should we look another way? Oh, uh, my mind at one point the other night. Your, your, uh... My slogan was, uh, you know how you, oh, I don't know how many people are watching. I don't think we'll, we might get in trouble. Get away with it once. <laughs> These are long streams. That, uh, I'm, I don't remember that one particularly. Well, uh, empty balls mean safe halls. All these uh, 30-year-old women that are screwing these 13-year-old boys and not going to jail for it. Uh, what's the common denominator in all these school shootings? And the, every one of them kids is doing it is not getting laid. So, uh, so uh, two birds, one stone. Castration, so they can't perpetuate no, no, their let genes. Them, let these pervert women go sleep. Hey, everybody has a Mrs. Robinson. You know what I'm saying? You know what you know what that story is from? Mrs. Robinson. From yeah. an old movie with Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. With an older woman. All right. Yeah. So let them do that. For some reason women don't even go to jail for her. This chick got pregnant, thirty one years old, got pregnant by a thirteen year old boy. Never did a day in jail. 